Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun video to show you guys the top three things you should do after first installing Linux Mint 20. So this is the default cinnamon edition, just to let you know there. And the first one of which is to, first of all, select your, your fastest mirror to do upgrades from. So if you were to go to the start menu there and type in software sources, let that load up there for a moment, and then you can actually select your own download mirror just to make things much, much faster there. Now, I've already selected mine, as you can see, based on my accent and my location. I've already chosen a couple of Aussie ones, Internode and Ionet. In fact, just by coincidence, happened to uh, work for them. But uh, getting off that topic there, and yeah, just do a little bit of a test. You'll be able to see which one is the fastest there one for you, so it does change over time. It's actually doing a speed test right now, but it, you can't actually quite see it until it updates there for a moment but uh, do that click OK update and away you go it updates the cache that sort of thing now the next thing here and I'll just uh, get out of that is to select your uh, your proprietary drivers for installing and I'll get into this one in a second but go to driver manager now it does take a moment to load up the first time you do load it it's looking for proprietary uh, software or information for either your CPU your Wi-Fi card or your graphics card for instance there as well just to see if you do have any of those proprietary drivers there now I do not in this one as this is a, a virtual machine so I won't see anything of the sort really there to speak of but it can really make your hardware work a lot better with your machine and uh, yeah I always do recommend having a bit of a look at the the driver manager there and then last but not least is a firewall so it's not always on by default these ones so if you were to just go to the start menu again type in firewall load it up it does ask for a password and here we go one one's already loading so up we go so by standard it is off but you can actually switch it to be on there now there are some rules and settings and things that you can change that sort of thing but uh, there we go. This is just a this is just a basic setup for you, and I do recommend doing that there as well. So switch on, switch off, change in any rules that you wish. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just a super simple, quick, fun video to show you guys uh, some of the uh, maybe the top three things you should do after first installing Linux Mint 20. So thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.